For centuries after their discovery in 1610, Jupiter's four largest moons were just curiosities, celestial clockwork in a frozen, desolate part of our solar system. The search for life was a search for worlds like our own, warmed by a sun. Jupiter's moons, Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto, were believed to be cold, dead, and irrelevant. That all changed in 1979, when the Voyager spacecraft flew past, it sent back images that stunned the world, and the most enigmatic of all was Europa. Its icy face was not ancient and cratered, but smooth and young, covered in a vast network of mysterious cracks and reddish bands. It looked less like a moon and more like a fractured eggshell. Scientists realized that Jupiter's immense gravity was constantly squeezing and stretching Europa, generating a powerful internal heat through tidal friction. The sun was no longer the only source of warmth. A new, radical idea emerged. What if Europa's internal furnace was hot enough to melt its ice from below? The Galileo mission in the 1990s confirmed it. By measuring the moon's magnetic field, it found definitive evidence of a global, salty, liquid layer beneath the ice. The ocean was real. An entire world of liquid water, perhaps twice the volume of all of Earth's oceans combined, was hiding in plain sight. Suddenly, the definition of a habitable world was rewritten. The three essential ingredients for life are liquid water, the right chemical building blocks, and an energy source. Europa appears to have all three. Its ocean, protected from radiation by a thick icy shell, has likely existed for billions of years. Chemicals delivered by comets would have mixed into its waters. And the energy? The same tidal heating that melts the ice could power hydrothermal vents on the ocean floor. Here on Earth, such vents are oases for life, thriving on chemical energy in total darkness. Could a similar genesis have occurred in the silent, dark waters of Europa? Or even Ganymede, Jupiter's largest moon, which also shows evidence of a massive subsurface ocean? For decades, these ocean worlds remained a distant dream, but now we are going back. ESA's JUICE mission is already on its way to perform a grand tour of these icy moons. And following close behind is NASA's Europa Clipper, a mission designed specifically as reconnaissance for life. Clipper will perform dozens of daring, low-altitude flybys, using ice-penetrating radar to confirm the ocean's depth and scanners to analyze the surface chemistry. Its primary target is one of nature's greatest gifts.